Hello Outlander fans! Today we're embarking on a journey through time, visiting three iconic Scottish castles that served as breathtaking backdrops for the beloved TV series Outlander. So welcome to this video, please do hit the subscribe button if you're new here and check out the article in the links below in the description. And join me as we explore Dune Castle, Midhope Castle and Craigmiller Castle as well as Blackness Castle diving into their rich history and uncovering the secrets behind their roles in the Outlander universe. Let's get it started! The first castle we're looking at is Dune Castle, located in the picturesque village of Dune, near Stirling. This 14th century fortress was built by Robert Stuart, the Duke of Albany, and served as a royal residence and hunting lodge. Its strategic location made an important stronghold during the wars of Scottish independence and the Jacobite Risings. But you might not know it's played a starring role in Outlander. Fans of the show will recognise it as Castle Leoch, the home of Colin Mackenzie and his clan. The castle's impressive great hall, courtyard and kitchen were all used for various scenes in the series. Number two, we're flying over to Midhope Castle, a 16th century tower house located in Hopetown Estate, just outside of Edinburgh. Although now in ruins, the castle boasts a fascinating history, with connections to prominent Scottish families such as the Drummonds and the Livingstons. Middle Castle might be more familiar to Outlander fans though as Lallybroch, the ancestral home of Jamie Fraser. The picturesque exterior of the castle serves as the perfect setting for many of the series' most memorable moments in Outlander. Sadly, the interior is not accessible to the public, but the stunning facade is still worth the visit for many Outlander enthusiasts. And you can even walk up the steps! For number 3 we're going into the heart of Edinburgh, Craigmiller Castle. And located just 3 miles outside of the city centre of Edinburgh, this 15th century fortress was once a favourite retreat of Scottish royalty, including Mary Queen of Scots. In Outlander, Craigmiller Castle stands in for Ardsmuir Prison, whereas Jeremy is held captive after the Battle of Culloden. The castle's eerie atmospheric dungeons and stone walls create the perfect backdrop for some of the series' most emotional and suspenseful scenes. Lastly, we're going to head on to the banks of the Firth of Forth, to Blackness Castle. This is a 15th century fortress, often referred to as the ship that never sailed, due to its ship-like appearance from the waterside. Built by the Crichton family, the castle has a rich military history and has even served as an artillery, fortification, a prison and an ammunition depot. But Outlander fans will probably recognise Blackness Castle as the Fort William Garrison, located where Jamie suffers at the hands of the sadistic captain Black Jack Randall. There was a wooden plinth right here, where Jamie was standing on top of. He was obviously chained to the wooden plinth with a cat of nine tails. This is the place. Quite um, strange to be here. I remember cringing and actually flinching when it when I was watching it on TV, thinking, "Wow, this is brutal." Jamie, obviously the character that we all love. Jamie's dad and his uncle were here as well, and that's where um, his dad died as well. Watching him. There's a lot of kids around today, so it's very noisy. So it'd be silly of me to come here all the way to Blackness Castle and not sit on the rock. I'm sit on these rocks as well, actually, that were behind Jamie as he was getting flogged. It must be pretty heavy, right? Wonder if I can like take one home with me, like as a souvenir. <gasps> I can lift it. This is stuff left over from the movie set. How cool is that? One of the rocks in Outlander. The castle's imposing architecture and dramatic coastal settings provide an unforgettable backdrop for the series' intense and gripping scenes. These are all Scottish castles that you can visit if you come to Scotland, and I hope you do because they're fantastic and they look exactly as they do in the series. So make sure you check out the links down below in the description to learn more, and I hope you come and visit us. Until then, Slangevar!